In this video, we will go over this problem of in calorimetry. So what we have here is the reaction of sodium hydroxide solid dissolving in water to form NaOH AQ. Now, whenever you have a calorimeter, you're first going to calorimeter problem, you're going to first figure out the heat absorbed by the calorimeter, and in this case specifically the, the water in the calorimeter. And that's the mass of the water times the specific heat times the change in temperature. The mass here is going to be the mass of the water. You're looking at the heat being absorbed. You're not looking at the amount of reactant yet. So that's 150.00 grams. For water, this specific heat is 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. And the change in temperature, I have final minus initial. Is 25.32 degrees C minus 23.50 degrees C, that's 1.82 degrees C, and that comes to 1,141 joules. Now, if I look at this. I have my, here's my, this is my surroundings, right? These are my surroundings. And so, the heat, that heat associated with the sodium hydroxide is equal to minus the heat absorbed by the water, that's minus 1,141 joules. And so delta H, as you may know, is the heat expressed in terms of the heat of a reaction, okay, of solution. So what we're trying to find now is delta H of this process. One thousand one hundred forty one. And we divide it by we're trying to figure out the number of moles. And this time, because we are looking at moles of sodium hydroxide, we use this mass, 1.095 grams. Because that's the mass of sodium hydroxide we have. I convert that to moles. 39.998 grams per mole. And I was asked for the answer in kilojoules per mole because that's how we normally express them, because this is going to be a huge number. So I'm going to convert this number from joules to kilojoules. And I get minus 41.7 kilojoules per mole. 